So now with pulling open, you have your floor thickness set on the middle. Um, everything else is kind of just ramping down into it. So now when you're gonna open up, again, you're gonna wanna keep pressure on the outside. Um, but I open up personally with a sponge and kind of use my left thumb to guide. And then I use my pointer finger pushing down on the sponge and open up. Um, need a little water on my hands. Um, and so when you're opening, I kind of open to about four o'clock. Uh, some people will pull straight back to six. Uh, somewhere in between there, and then if you're going a lefty, you're gonna probably be around uh, eight to six uh, is where you're gonna wanna pull open. Again, if the floor is still too thick at this point, that's fine. This is, is still an easy point to go back and adjust. Um, so now that I opened up, you can see my floor is kind of uneven. I don't know if you can see it in the video. It's pretty deep right here and then pretty tall here. Um, and that's fine, but remember, this is a big, a crucial step to throwing. This is kind of one of the last times you can kind of perfect your floor. Once you kind of open the walls, it makes it significantly different. Once you pull up the walls, it makes it a lot more difficult to to come back to the floor and really clean it up. Make sure it's nice and even. Make sure you don't have huge sharp points that are gonna catch food or make it tough to clean. Uh, you can really smooth it out. You can take a rib and compress it a bit. Um, some people swear by compressing. I typically don't compress too much, um, but I also wedge pretty well. So that helps me not need to compress. Um, and there we have it. So the floor is set. It's nice and smooth. Um, it's about three inches wide right now. Uh, next, we're just gonna kind of start working on the pulling up the walls, and that's gonna be kind of the most difficult and longest part to learn. Uh, each of these steps, you can stop and take the piece off, wedge, and do it again. Um, if you're doing a pound at a time with a 25 pound block, this is a 25 time process that you can do, um, if not more. Uh, it's really important to practice these fundamental steps uh, as they are going to be your guide and allow you to manipulate the clay in the way you want to and control it to further advance your artistry here.